Tom Bancroft. You may have seen some of my past work. Films like The Lion King and Aladdin, Pocahontas, Milan, Beauty and the Beast. And now I'm an art director on Superbook. And so we're gonna do how to draw Gizmo. Gizmo the robot is one of the funnest characters in this series. And he gets all the funny lines. First of all, I'm starting with a red pencil. I like to figure out the shapes of a character and just rough it out in red. Then I can go back in with a graphite or a black pencil and kind of add the details. So let's start with that. Gizmo's head, I'm gonna do kind of an oval. Then we're gonna add a very simple circle shape. And that'll be his body, his main chest. And I'm gonna have a little overlap, as you can see, between the oval and the circle. And then he's got a little smaller kind of circle down here for his waist. And notice I'm kind of adding a little curve to it. I'm gonna have him kind of walking. He's got little round discs here for the around his hips for where his legs fit in. But we can just do a little triangle, and that'll be his legs. And behind, we won't see all of it, but he'll have his other foot up here. Tube here and a kind of a triangle shape. And same with the triangle shape for the back. One shoulder will be up here, which is just a circle. And the other shoulder will be back here, another circle. This arm, because he's walking, will be back. So it's just a tube that connects to another circle. And then kind of a big triangular shape here for this hand. And then this hand we're gonna put up, we'll have him kind of waving. It's just an oval with that same triangle shape and a tube going to another circle. His fingers, kind of like little sausages. And here they're gonna be in a fist, so they'll just be little curves right now. And we're gonna have his head tilted this way. I'm just sort of flattening out the top, giving it just like a rounded kind of a rectangle shape. It dips in the middle. This is his TV screen kind of face. His ears are ovals that kind of stick on the end in the middle here, and there are these crosshairs. One's a horizontal and one's a vertical. And about in the middle is where his little tiny nose is. And then he's got big oval eyes on both sides of that. And then we can do almost any kind of a mouth. Remember, he's got that sort of dip in the middle here where like he's got rib cages. Cool stuff comes out of his chest that can pop open. That kind of half circle here is kind of important. I'll just add the tube here and the circle. He's got sort of a half circle kind of feet too that are flat on the bottom. Now that we have that kind of worked out, a roughed out gizmo and the proportions feel about right, let's grab our graphite pencil and really start kind of looking at the details more. I'm gonna add like two little lines here and that just gives me some dimension there. But this is all very rounded. There's some dimension there for that face mask. Sort of a rounded rectangle, I guess you call it. And then his ears here are kind of divided in half and then have like two lines there. And his head kind of can even go down into his chest. So there's actually like a, a little hole that underneath his head. And we'll even see a little bit of his neck, a metal tube. But we'll shade that in because so, this is a hole basically. And then out of that comes his big barrel chest, a little hatch here that can open up. He's got three lines right in the middle. Built into this circle is where these arms kind of come out of. And then that tube kind of works out of that. This is all kind of a silver tube shape for his elbow area, a little smaller circle there. And this part kind of works on top of that. His forearm, got a little lips around the outside, give that a little thickness. And let's jump over here to the other side, just a half circle, because we're only seeing part of it. Silver tube coming off of that. And then this smaller circle, that's what we call the elbow. Big forearms, there's that little oval lip. Now let's go back to his face. Put it on his nose, and remember it's black, so we can just make a little oval. His eyes, it's a little thicker on the top. You know, he's like he's got eyelashes. And let's put his eyes in the corner here. We're looking at us, shade those in a little bit. And now let's do his mouth. I'm gonna make it a little crooked, just off to the side. Let's go back down here to complete this. So this comes around here. We're indicating the hatch there, that that would open up. He's got a black tube that kind of connects to this bottom bit here, which is his waist. And that's like a half circle, basically. And it has a half circle inside of it, too. And then out of that, carved in there, are what I would call his hips. And that's gonna be where these other balls kind of land. And those are important because that's how his legs work. And then we'll add the tube and then his knee circles, very similar to the arms, until we get to this part, his foot. 
and that's similar but a little different so it's going to have the big shape here then it has sort of a curve around the foot this lip here works a little differently and has a little round oval there the foot it's basically just a flat iron but kind of rounded it has a little lip to it this is the bottom of his foot we can even shade that in and then likewise, this leg we're not gonna see very much because it's gonna be behind this front leg and it's going away from us. So we're gonna see that lip curving this way and the back of his foot, like a rounded kind of iron. Now look, we forgot the hands. You know, he's got these just sort of tube shaped hands. So him making a fist, they have to kind of come out of that hand and kind of curl up like this. And he's got black tips, so I'll make that thumb have a little black tip. And then there's lines that go through the fingers. And then same with over here, we're gonna have him kind of waving, spread his fingers out. And again, the tips are black, and then there's little stripes almost. But how we space his fingers will help him look more like he's waving. And those fingers are going away from us. So those curves will go that way. And then his palms are darker, so let's shade that in. And same with over here. What I'm gonna do now is I like to take the side of my pencil and do a little shading. Now the middle part here is supposed to be black. And then there's some dark here, some dark here, and here. And of course this is silver, so I'm gonna even add a little shine to it. It's just basically like adding a little squiggly line, kind of nice and dark, a little shines there. And same with here. And then just shade in everywhere it's supposed to be red. You know, don't press as hard. That's the key to that his ears and his forearms here and of course on his feet too and i think it's starting to look a lot like gizmo this is going to be blue so i'll give him a little light in there i'll add a little shadow makes it look like he is walking and there's gizmo boy that was a lot of fun i really enjoyed drawing gizmo so i hope you did too and just keep drawing from the heart <laughs>